Welcome back to our flipped classroom videos. Um, this week we're going to be doing perimeter. So we're going to have some perimeter power. We've just finished looking at geometry and we're going to use a lot of those characteristics to help us identify different side lengths of polygons or other shapes and then to find what the perimeter of that space is. So first thing, we need to figure out what is perimeter. All right, so perimeter is the distance around a figure. Okay. And you'll notice I don't say polygon, I don't say shape, because sometimes we're going to be looking at the perimeter of circles. You can find the perimeter of a circle. Um, you can find the perimeter of um, something that's curved. So, you know, if you have a shape like this, you can find the perimeter of that. And that's not technically a polygon. And I don't, I mean, you could consider that maybe a half oval, um, but that shape doesn't really have a name. So we're going to say the distance around a figure because you can find the perimeter around pretty much anything. You could find the perimeter around a shelf. You could find the perimeter around a basket. You could find the perimeter around a bowl. There's all kinds of different things that you can find the perimeter of. So we're going to go with figure. Okay, so you're going to tell me, yeah, Mrs. Martin, that's great. I get that the perimeter is around a shape, but how do I actually figure it out? Well, if we look at this quadrilateral, it doesn't have parallel lines, so I'm not going to call it a trapezoid. It's pretty close. But if we pretend that this distance right here, sorry, my little a, okay, if we pretend that that is a number two, okay, and maybe my b is like three, this one's four, and maybe this one down here is five, okay? If we pretend that those are numbers, when we go to get a perimeter, it's when we add all of those components up, okay? So we're going to add our length A, so whatever this value is, plus our length B, whatever this is, plus our length C, whatever this value is, and we're going to add that to D, and whatever the total amount is, that's going to be our perimeter. Now your perimeter can be in inches, it can be in centimeters, it can be in millimeters, it can be in, in any distance. It could be miles if you're looking at a map and you want to find the perimeter around someone's acreage. Um, you know, you could have it in acres even. So we're going to look at that as we start moving through. All right, so this is the one that we've been doing on our new warm-ups, and this is probably what you're most familiar with. So I have a rectangle here, and I have four centimeters along this side, and I have three centimeters this way, that automatically means that this side's going to be three centimeters and this side's going to be four because it's a rectangle, remember? So I have opposite sides of equal length. All right, so what am I going to do here to figure this perimeter out? If you said that I'm going to take four plus three plus four plus three equals my perimeter, you are correct. So I want you to go ahead and do that on your paper really quickly. What do you get? If you got 14 centimeters, you are correct. Remember, if it gives us a unit here, you need to tell me a unit in your answer. All right, so here's your next shape. I want you to determine the perimeter. I know it's not a quadrilateral anymore, but what do you have to do? You have to add up all the side lengths. Great. So go ahead and try it really quickly on your own. Okay, if you took five plus three plus four and got, good, 12, you were correct. But am I done with my answer yet? No, I need to have inches because my unit up here in my problem was inches. So here I took my five that was here and I put it down here. I added it to my three, and then I added the length to my four. So you're just adding all the sides together. It's as if we stretched them out. So I put my five length next to my three, next to my four. But then you say, well, what if I come across a shape and I don't know all the side lengths? 
there's going to be a mathematical way that you can go about figuring those answers out. So if I look at this first, what's the shape that I have? What kind of shape do I have? If you said a rectangle, you are correct. Okay? Because obviously I have my 90 degree angles here, right? I have one side length of 12 and I have another of 9. So do I have all equal sides? No, so it's not a square, it's going to be a rectangle. Great. Now let's figure out what should my length be over here on the side? What should I label that side as? If you said 9, you are correct. It should be 9 centimeters. Sorry, that got kind of funny. Let's fix that. So it should be 9 centimeters because my other labels are centimeters, right? Okay, so knowing that this 9 is the same as this side, what will this one be? Good, should have been 12 centimeters. Okay, so now we can figure out what our perimeter is. I'm going to add 12 plus what? Plus 9 plus what else? 12 plus 9. Now you could also set it up as 12 plus 12 plus 9 plus 9, okay? And I know that's not very neat at the bottom. I wanted to keep my neat side over here just so you can see it. But that's another way. You can separate them. As long as you add all the sides, that's fine. So what would my final answer be? I know 12 and 9 is 21. So 21 plus 21 would be 42 centimeters, okay? And I'll fix that, it's kind of messy. Move it over a little bit. Okay, 42 centimeters. Okay, last example, and this is just to prove to you that it doesn't matter what kind of shape it is, as long as you know the lengths, you can figure out the perimeter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to actually cross off the values as I go through just so I know that I've counted them all. So if I go through and I'm finding the perimeter, you can go ahead and um, pause the video. And once you've paused it, you can check your answer with me. So I'm going to go through and do the answer. Pause your video now. Okay, so I'm going to go through and I'm going to do 8, and I'm going to cross it off, plus 4, cross it off, plus 5, plus 2, plus 3, plus 3, plus 5. I'm going to figure out what that equals. Okay, so if I look at this, I know that 5 and 5 is 10, so I'm going to put that off to the side. I know that 2 and 3 is 5, so that's an easier number. Um, I know that 8 and 4 is 12, plus 3 more would be 15. So that just made my problem a little bit easier. So I crossed all my values off. However you want to go about solving it is fine. So I'm going to transfer that over here, 15 plus... 5 and 10. So 5 and 5 is 10. Carry my 1, 1, 2, 3. My answer is 30 what? Feet. Very good. All right, well, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow, and I am excited to start our new unit. Have a good night, guys.